Hey everyone, Craig here with another Blu-ray review. This time I'm looking at Incredibles 2, now out for purchase. So this is the sequel to 2004 film, The Incredibles. And in this one, it's not Mr. Incredible. It's taking the center stage. No, it's actually Elastigirl. She is stepping up and she is she is the one who is out there fighting all of the bad guys. And Bob, Mr. Incredible, is stuck at home doing the hardest job you could ever possibly do, and that is being a parent to, in his case, three kids. So it's filled with hilarious moments. I think it's actually better than the original. That's just me. I know there's many people out there who prefer the original one, but uh, I, I think this movie is just absolutely hilarious. Any moment with Jack-Jack in it is just absolute gold. So I highly recommend picking this up just for the movie itself. But uh, like all of my Blu-ray Blu reviews, I talk about the special features because that's what helps, uh, you know, it's the icing on the cake. It, it makes it that much sweeter. So uh, let's talk about the special features and see what's there that stands out that's worth picking this one up. Obviously, one of them is Bow. That is the short that was in front of The Incredibles 2 when it was in theaters. And it is just a very, very sweet, endearing short about a lady whose bow bun comes to life, her dumpling. And uh, there's a twist in it, but it's really, really cute. And I love having it now as part of my collection. This Blu-ray also was the debut of Auntie Edna, and that is a short that follows Edna Mode and Jack-Jack on the night that Edna babysits for Mr. Incredible and comes up with Jack-Jack's uh, super suit. So it is absolutely hilarious, and it helps uh, further the context of the actual movie by showing everything that went down. So I absolutely recommend taking a look at this. My absolute favorite feature on on this release is called Strong Coffee, a lesson in animation with Brad Bird. And this is a nice hefty bonus feature which just kind of goes over everything that Brad Bird has learned about animation and all the way back to his very start when when he visited the Walt Disney Studios for the very first time and expressed his interest in becoming an animator all throughout his childhood then when he actually submitted a piece of animation that he did to Walt Disney Studios and ended up becoming an, a, an apprentice of sorts at Walt Disney Feature Animation. And he worked alongside the Nine Old Men, which, uh, you know, I know a lot about Brad Bird, but there was even stuff in this that I never knew about him. And it was just absolutely fascinating to track his career all the way up through Incredibles 2 and get these highlights and, and little pieces of information. So, I think it's actually my favorite thing just on this release in general. I'll probably watch that more than I'll rewatch the movie itself. So I highly, highly recommend tracking down this just for that, Not that you're going to have to struggle too hard to track it down. There is actually a bonus disc that is just full of bonus features. And this is where a lot of the feature up featurette stuff is located like super stuff which just looks at all the superpowers and everything in the universe of incredibles from background characters vehicles uh, there's a short about everyday heroes that's the all the pixar workers who are there to share uh, their work on the film as well as their family life and how it really worked together with this movie. There's there's just a ton of bonus features looking at the characters, looking at everything that went into the making of this film. So there's a lot, a lot. A little bit of repeat in there, but you'll find that with anything. Uh, the My favorite thing from that bonus disc was actually called Making Bow. And if you can't figure out what that is, that's a look of how they made bow and it is pretty thorough in that it covers everything from the concept to the inspiration to the execution and how pixar employees work together to make it all a reality so it is really cool you just there's more than you could ever want on the making of everything with incredibles 2 so if you're a bonus feature fan you're really going to love this release so I think you should absolutely pick it up, whether you get it on the 4K combo pack, you get it on just your regular Blu-ray combo pack, DVD, digital, on demand, however. However you buy your Disney movies, you should take the time to get Incredibles too. So it gets my recommendation, and I will see you again next time with another Blu-ray review. Bye.